Indestructible King Galvatron! After Galvatron destroyed Cybertron, the cool and devious Scorponok took charge of the Decepticons and led them to blow up Mars. The equilibrium of the universe has been upset due to the explosion, and the gravity between stars has been greatly affected. showing an abnormal decrease. The equilibrium is beginning to break down. We had better get back. Transform! Transform. Head, Head on! on. So the danger level has reached its maximum. Up till now, we still haven't seen anything unusual happening. But still, if the Decepticons are to continue blowing up other planets in the solar system... If th they do, then the whole system will be destroyed. We can't allow them to do that. Go on, the Decepticons. We thought after Galvatron died that we'd have peace. Scorpion is a more devastating fighting machine. The murderers. I wonder which planet will be the next target. Come on. They must know they carry on destroying the system. They'll suffer as well. You're being naive. Scorponok's obsessed with revenge. He doesn't care. Now the Decepticons are stronger. So from now on, we must be much more careful. You understand? Let's not waste time. Let's take the initiative. We'll go get them. No! Oh, oh. Break! So you're saying that the Decepticons are stronger than us now? No, Danny. I'm just saying that if we're not careful, then even Commander... You saw what happened! You saw how Scorponok changed into the Scorpion and fought the Commander! You saw it, didn't you? No, I didn't see it. But I heard Chrome Dong describe it! Then stop talking rubbish here! I'm sure our Commander is better! He's the best! Oh! <laughs> Wheelie's the worst! <laughs> oh, Wheelie, look! Oh. Hey, Danny, what is it? Could it be a UFO? Fortress Maximus has gone to find out if the Decepticons are planning anything. He's also been informed of Danny and Wheelie's sighting of the UFO. We still don't know if that's an enemy. So far, nothing's happened. There's no attack on Sydney, sir. I think it's the Decepticons. They must be behind all of this. We have put everyone on alert, Commander. I'll get back to the base as soon as possible. Now, if there's anything, you let me know at once, all right? I will, sir. If it's the Decepticons, what do you think they're up to this time? Do you think that strange shining object is an alien? If it's a friendly alien, then we must give him a welcoming party. Commander! What is it? I agree with Chrome Dome. We can't just keep an eye on the enemy. We must take the initiative. Mm -mm. Where's Chrome Dome and Hardhead? I think they've gone to the data center. That's strange. The exit to the warship is open. <laughs> well done, Chrome Dome. We shouldn't be far away from the enemy's base. So let's go. Right, head on, head on. 
It's Chrome Dome and Hardhead! Oh no. Those two idiots, they're always so impulsive. But if they change, they'll have a bright future. Could they be going to the Decepticons base on Planet Jolo? Go and follow them. Meanwhile, on Planet Jolo, Counterpunch has made a report to Scorponok of the Autobots' latest movements. At the same time, Scorponok has given an order for Weird Wolf to prepare to attack. Very well done, Counterpunch. So keep up the good work. Yes, thank you, sir. I'll do everything I can for you, sir. We should report this to the Lord at once. Okay, let's go and tell him. It's them. How dare they come here? Uh, uh, what's that? They said they'd strengthen their defenses, so what are they doing here now? Never mind. They're asking to die by coming here. They're dead meat. Let's lure them over and then we'll kill them. These two fools must be taught a good lesson. Head on! I will not allow them to ruin my plan. I shall send them both to hell. There's Jello up ahead. Wow, oh, what a nasty place. Who would want to live here? Hide! Do you think we could get in there? Well, let's find out. Let's go! Oh no! Oh no, they've discovered us! We pretended not to see you, that's all. You bunch of fools. Die! I'm dizzy! No! Let go of it, calm down! I want it, but I can't! Trump! Up you go! Well done, sir. We've kicked them out of here. They've learned their lesson this time. Oh, it's no use. Knowing those two, they'll forget all about it by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Chrome Dome, we're safe. Darn it, sir. That you guy's really trying to lick Scorpinox's boots. Now, don't worry. You stay with me. You're both very good scouts, and with you here, we'll be a stronger team than they are, you know. Thank you, sir. We'll do our very best for you. Anything you say, sir. I think right now we better go and try to dig up some more information. To dig up some more information? But the commander is fighting the Autobots. Let's take a look on Earth. We may pick up some information there. Let's go. In the meantime, Scorpionok, who is burning with a desire for revenge, is fighting a fierce battle with Fortress Maximus on planet Jolo. Scorponok is so powerful! Should we try to use the main cannon, sir? We need time to replenish the energy afterwards. We can't! Okay! Then let the forest go fight him! Wait! Use reverse jets to keep out of his grasp at the same time that we fire on him. Okay! Now watch! I didn't expect that. 
I'll show you. Head on! Oh no, he's back again. Darn it, that evil monster. Okay, let me make a hole in his stomach. Are you trying to ram into him? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Oh! No! Ah! I'll send you all to hell. What? Who is that? Could it be? Could it be the UFO that Danny saw? It's time. We must retreat and make up a new strategy. Damn it. They escaped it. That's form! What the devil is that? It looks like a meteorite to me. I almost had Fortress Maximus, but then this darn thing appeared. There seems to be nothing happening here. Where can I get more information? Hey, Soundwave. Looks like you found nothing, right? That's right. Bad luck, huh? Hmm? What's that? <laughs> Who are you? Do you know who I am? I'm Six Shot, the Ninja Consultant. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Who are you? What do you want? Are you a human being? Uh, no! Oh, that hurts! Oh, my goodness! Uh, uh. Uh. Now I have something to report. There was no one who could stop us, so why did we run away? We didn't run away. I just didn't want more people killed. We were at stalemate with the enemy. They wouldn't be able to kill us. We don't go to war for the sake of fighting. We have to win. Hey, are you sure you can summon that alien? Aliens communicate with music. I saw that in movies. What an honor it is to be able to fly with a lady. <laughs> and I can see you transform. <laughs> Head on! Head, Head on! on! So you saw that thing here? Just one more time, I'm sure I can get the alien out. We come out now? Well, Danny, it's possible that what you saw the other day is the same thing that we saw. What? So you've seen it too, Commander? Shh, be quiet. I just wonder, is it friend or enemy? I hope that this thing will be able to help us. The celebration party on Moon is all prepared. Why was it so late? Uh, because it's more difficult than we thought, sir. So tell me, you two, have you informed Sixshot and the other regiments about this celebration? Uh, of course, sir. We wouldn't have missed them out. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to the Decepticons. The announcing of the new Decepticon leader. Yes, that's right, sir. And very soon the master of the whole universe, my lord. But you know my main purpose in doing this is to destroy Fortress Maximus and his four headmasters. <laughs> He's waiting inside for you, sir. Hey, stop that at once, punch! What? So they've gone to the moon? Do they intend to blow up the moon? No, I believe they're going to announce a new leader. I suspect on the surface that may be so. But what if they're trying to build a base on moon? Then the Earth will be threatened. I'd better inform Earth about this. 
The last time you got into the Decepticons area, sir, you made things difficult for me. I didn't expect that that would happen. I'm sorry. Well, I'm just glad that you're all okay. You mustn't let your identity be known. Please be very careful. Sir. Attention! Listen, my dear fellow Decepticons, the celebration in honor of our new leader, Scorponok, will begin. Everybody! From now on, I, Scorponok, am the new commander of all Decepticons. And look, that is Earth. And I swear I will wipe out Fortress Maximus and his forces on Earth. Huh? You're here, Fortress Maximus. Oh. Don't panic, everybody. I'll inaugurate this ceremony with blood. The Autobot's blood! They've come here asking to die. None of them are gonna leave here today. Head switch can increase their powers. Ah! Tanko Regiment merge! Katia Regiment merge! Air Corps Regiment merge! You're gonna die! Watch! Okay, I'll get you this time. You'll die. Commander Scarpenock, when I went back to Jolo, they told me that you're... Huh? It's the thing again. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, what's happening? It's six shot. Uh. Just tell me, what's going on here now? <laughs> what's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? Ah! Hardhead! Brainstone! Galvatron. Galvatron's alive? <laughs> Did I scare you? So I see Galvatron is still alive. Ah, it's him. I thought Galvatron was dead. Get them! Kill all the Autobots for me now! Yeah! Commander! Retreat! Retreat! Let them go! They won't get away. Why'd you let them go, sir? It's our chance to wipe them out. It's very strange. Why would Galvatron show up now? So when I was here, you fools could achieve nothing. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, sir. <laughs> Don't you welcome my return, Scobadoc? Of course we welcome you back. But, sir, why didn't you come back before today? Where have you been all this time? I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been watching, watching to see what you people do when I'm not with you. <laughs> it seems you're having a celebration. Uh, actually, uh, this view, sir, we're preparing a celebration to welcome you back, right? Scorbinock, Sixshot already told me that during my absence, you've done quite a few good things for the team. Thank you. Now listen, now I'm back from now on, you do as I say. I am the chief commander of the Decepticons and I'm still alive. Yay! Yay! My dear Decepticon followers, listen to this. I'm your chief commander, Galvatron. I am back, and I now declare that I'll destroy the Autobots. That's really amazing. Galvatron's still alive. Darn it. I thought he'd been blown up on Cybertron. So I see. That strange shiny object was really... Oh. 
I hate it! I hate UFOs! I hate it! Hey, Danny! Wait, where are you going? To everyone's amazement, Galvatron is still alive. Now that he's back, the Decepticons will be a bigger threat than ever before to the Autobots. But one thing is for sure, the Autobots will fight on! <laughs> <laughs>